So here's the piece of oak um, that we're going to use for the fingerboard. Uh, this is the piece of plywood we're going to make the body out of. Um, the machine heads, and they're, they're just cheap, simple machine heads for, meant for a classical guitar, but we're going to adapt them so that they work with an electric. This is a, a pickup a, from a Stratocaster. I had to replace the pickup and the strap, so this is the leftover pickup. This is from a, a, an electronics project that I did a while ago. It's just a leftover jack. Um, and, um, you know, you get these at a electronics supply shop. The shape of the guitar is going to be a giraffe. Giraffe. The neck of the guitar will be the neck of the giraffe. And then um, there will be the headstock and then over top of that it will be the giraffe's head. I'm going to trace that. Can you trace around the headstock, sweetie? I want you to extend this line from here down to uh, 600 millimeters, okay? So right down to 600. Just sort of s sketch in freehand the, the block of wood. Just put a, put a, a sort of an, the pickup. Let's do a line where the last um, fret is gonna go. Okay, yeah, go for it. So you draw the, you draw the body of the, the giraffe now. Oh good, okay, so you got the uh, great, 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 great. Now... Where's the ears? Um, I don't know. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting to work on the, uh, the fingerboard, which is the oak piece. Um, and uh, so what I have to do is obviously figure out how long it's going to be and um, where the frets are. We're going to, instead of having a nut, I'm going to have a zero fret, and then this thing is just to sort of guide the string spacing. So the, the zero fret will be what? about 10. We're going to do it 10 uh, no, millimeters. Yeah. And then we're going to measure from there. Uh, we need a total of about 510 millimeters, so it'll be a total of about 520. Okay. And then we can get rid of this, and we'll use the set square online fret calculator. You can get these on the internet. It's just a little uh, web page where you enter some values and it tells you where, what positions to put the frets at. And uh, let's see what website it is. It's Stuart McDonald. They supply you know, parts for people making instruments. And it's just a calculator. You, tell, you enter in how many frets you want and how, how long you want the open string to be. And it figures out where all the frets should go. OK, Gina, you're going to make a mark at 34 millimeters. 66 and a half. Hold this flush against here, and you, this has got to be totally contacting this. It's got to be dead on square. Yeah, that's good. Very nice. If you happen to have a band saw, that would be great. Uh, that would save some time. Uh, we use a handheld, we're going to use a handheld jigsaw to cut out the shape of the body. What we've got here is the, um, the piece of plywood that's going to be the body. Uh, Gina's drawn the, the, the shape onto it. Um, so this is the, uh, the giraffe shape with the neck and you're panning up to the, the head. It's going to be noisy and ugly. Um, oh yeah, hearing protection. Musicians earplugs. Okay, so now we're going to get the kids to do some sanding. What do you think? That's good. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I'm measuring off the, the, the blank of wood that I'm using for the fretboard. It's wider than I need it. I'm going to cut off um, sort of some of the excess first. It's going to be my first job, just cut off some of this excess wood. So the thing's tapered, right? It's skinnier at the uh, headstock than it is 
at the uh, at the bridge. So I got to measure that uh, strap again. This does, this is the stuff that has to be kind of uh, precise ish. No, that's right. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'll start by cutting this. Do the tailpiece separately. Six hundred millimeters, but I just want to be a hundred percent sure. Okay, so the pickup should go right in about here. That's good. Okay, this has to be pretty accurate now because it's going to be where we're actually going to cut the hole for the for the pickup. So the first measurement we did was sort of a rough one. Perfect. Excellent. 